Hello students and parents welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today and I am going to explain you about one of the most important chapter of physics that is force and pressure. So let's get started. When you play the game carom you hit the coins with a striker to push them towards the pocket. As you can see that the coins cannot move by themselves. You push the striker with your hand and the striker pushes the coins. When you want to lift a box with your hand from the floor, you have to pull the box. Then only you can lift it. These pushes and pulls are called force. The harder you push or pull, the greater is the magnitude of the force. The direction in which a push or a pull is applied is the direction of the force. Now let's discuss the effects of the forces. A force can move a stationary object. A force can slow down or stop a moving object. A force can change the direction of a moving object. A force can increase or decrease the speed of a moving object. A force can change the shape and the size of an object. The standard unit of force is Newton. Different types of forces are contact force, non-contact force, gravitational force, magnetic force, etc. Here I am showing you the examples of different types of forces. When an object is sliding or rolling on a surface, a force comes into play between the two surfaces in contact. It tries to stop the object from moving. This force is called the force of friction. This force not only tends to stop a moving object but also tends to stop a stationary object from moving. That is why it is difficult to kick a brick to make it move on a rough surface. I will discuss elaborately friction chapter in my one of the upcoming videos. Now what is pressure? Pressure is the force per unit area applied to an object in a direction perpendicular to the surface. The standard unit of pressure is Pascal. So, 1 Pascal equal to 1 Newton per meter square. There is air everywhere around us. Earth is surrounded by air and this covering of air is known as atmosphere. Air exerts a force on the surface of the Earth. The force exerted by the atmosphere on unit area is called atmospheric pressure. Due to this atmospheric pressure, we can stand still on the earth and maintain our body balance. I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Do follow my channel to get more and more dislike interesting science related videos for you. Bye bye.